Hey everybody, welcome back uh, to my bed bench and this time we have a Commodore 1571 which is double side, uh, double density with MFM capacity uh, disk drive which was made uh, for the Commodore 128 and this drive can uh, um, use uh, uh, the old 1541 format and also uh, CPM disks uh, and as its own double uh, side format too. So this is obviously a uh, not working drive. So this drive is uh, obviously not working and I'm trying to understand what's the problem uh, we try first of all we notice that the head is uh, quite in a strange position is seeking to the end of the, the disc the, the 35 or 40 track so that's not normal and let's see what happens when we try the i0 command So it looks like uh, it's seeking uh, for the higher tracks and not seeking back and that could be a motor uh, head motor problem. So let's see once I disassemble it. Okay before suspecting something uh, driving the head motor We must understand that this drive, the 1571, has a track 0 or track 1 as you want to call it, sensor, which is this infrared sensor. And when the. Okay, I have to power it off to move the head manually. When the head goes to track 0. There is a plastic interrupter that uh, interrupts the light uh, between the LED and the photodiode and makes uh, the driver understand the head is on track zero. Well, actually, it's called the track one on uh, Commodore drives. So first of all we have to understand if this sensor is working because if the head never goes back it could mean the drive is thinking it's already on track zero so it doesn't want to move uh, further back. So let's try and see if it works. So it looks like there's something uh, indeed wrong with this sensor or the circuit associated because on the blue wire when the head is not on position on track zero we should find uh, a low level it means the light should reach the photo mm, photodiode as we find uh, almost five volts which is not right so I guess I have to disassemble this uh, photo diode and see if it's working or not but first I will repeat the test uh, uh, the soldering the blue wire because it could be uh, the input of the port where it's connected that may be shorter to 5 volts or something well would you believe it I just uh, desoldered the the complete uh, assembly because uh, I was trying uh, without the uh, blue wire co connected and uh, it look uh, to look at good also I mean the external circuit to look at good could be driving to ground so I just removed the whole assembly and what we find is that the legs for the photodiode are Barely exiting the uh, 
the plastic uh, package so probably they were never soldered in so I'll try to uh, just solder two additional legs to the photodiode and put it back and see if it was just that the only problem so it didn't appear uh, to be the only problem because even with the legs going uh, through the holes this uh, photocoupler doesn't seem to be working the LED is working for sure I can see the light shining through the, the slot when uh, it's powered on but there is no action on the photodiode side so I found that these almost exact replacement but I don't even know if the pinout of the photodiode is uh, correct the um, LED side uh, has the same pinout because it can be checked with a multimeter but I have to first shine uh, I mean power on the LED side and then check the correct polarity of the photodiode so I'm going to install this one in the 1571 uh, without soldering the photodiode side and see if it works so it looks promising uh, because with the dry power down measuring the resistance with the red probe uh, where the blue wire should be and the black probe on the other pin of the photodiode there we read the uh, uh, low reading like 300 ohms so I will uh, solder back everything uh, and see what happens so I put everything together with the new uh, photo sensor, power on power on the C64 and let's try the E0 command so now it's six goes to track zero six to back to track uh, eighteen but we have an error so the head can move uh, but there must be something else wrong on the read write uh, circuits probably so let's troubleshoot this one okay unfortunately it is probably the end of a uh, repair attempt of this drive because checking the read write head uh, continuity uh, it seems there are two open uh, head coils okay while editing the video the final video I realized I didn't explain very well or at all I mean how to check the head coil continuity on a 1571 drive but well, basically there are two heads the connector is uh, just one for the two heads the top side of the connector is a read write head zero which is the bottom one and the bottom connector is the top head which is head one yeah uh, they are basically flipped it over but well, as long as we know uh, it's okay then color code is blue and red are the two ends of the read right head the white is the central connection of the read right head and is common to the arrays uh, coil which is the uh, yellow uh, yellow wire so basically 
if you check on the connector you have to find about uh, 10 to 16 ohms between the white and the blue 10 to 16 ohms between the white and the red and 10 to 16 ohms again between the white and the yellow um, on both heads of course but we can check also on these diodes uh, they are CR3 to CR8 and we check always on the cathode uh, marked with a band and CR3 must have continuity like uh, 20 ohms or so to CR7 and uh, also 20 ohms or so to CR5 and thus this is the top head then CR4 has 20 to 30 ohm to CR8 and to CR6 if you don't see these readings then something is wrong with the read write head for erase coils like I found on this drive just measure the directly on the contact of the head so there is not it's not a problem of the wires uh, connecting the head to the PCB so basically this uh, 1571 will go as a part unit unless uh, I happen to find a good mechanics with good heads uh, that's sad but it happens and so thank you for watching